Hi, my name is Derek, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we installed a mini split air conditioner heat pump unit into our fifth wheel trailer. For the past two weeks in Tucson, Arizona, we have been living in this, our Alpha fifth wheel, with no air conditioner. Well, we've been using a three quarter ton portable air conditioner, but I'm here to tell you, it's not enough. But we are going to install this mini split air conditioner made by Mr. Cool. It's the do it yourself series. It's a two ton air conditioner unit and just got delivered today. When the UPS guy was here, I unboxed him real quick just to check for damage. But I just put the box lids back on because I uh, wanted you to see what it's like when you unbox them. So here's where I'm gonna mount my mini split, right here on the back. And then the uh, condenser lines, the drain hose, and the electrical will all just run up right behind the ladder. And I'm gonna drill a hole right through there so that I can mount it on the inside. And I'll show you what that's gonna look like on the inside. So here's where we're gonna mount uh, the unit. Uh, this line here is the indoor unit outline. So if I hold that down, you're right about here. And let's see what that gives me. It gives me about two inches clearance, which should be enough to miss this. Here's where the blower unit is mounted. And you can see my coil lines coming through and my drain line coming through. And then that's where they go out the back of the fifth wheel right there. So cutting that hole, uh, we did a little pilot hole just to make sure where we were. And then we didn't have anything in our way, just foam packed in between. And so we were able to uh, drill a really nice hole right through. So we were super happy about that. And so this is just gonna stay open and it will have that space for air as well. As far as the electrical, uh, we have our 50 amp service that is coming in, which comes in here. Uh, we pulled off of that and ran it over into this breaker box, uh, which in here is a 20 amp circuit, uh, which is feeding, uh, providing power to our mini split air conditioning unit. It falls right within the range of what is acceptable for it. Um, it's 240 volts, but it can accept uh, between, I believe it's 15 and 25 amps. So that 20 is right in the sweet spot there. We haven't had any electrical problems. Uh, so we've been really pleased with that. This is our Mr. Cool AC heat pump unit. It's a two ton unit. We've had this for uh, probably coming on two months now. And it has worked really, really well. Um, after we installed it, the heat here in Tucson actually broke. Um, so it's been getting cooler, which is nice. Uh, but we've actually found we've probably used the heat pump more than we have the air conditioning unit. Um, and the heat pump works fantastic, especially when you use the downloaded app. Even when you're still in bed while it's cold, you can open up the app and turn the heater on, and that way it's nice and toasty when you get up and go out and get your coffee. Uh, here is the unit hooked up. Um, as you can see, here are the two uh, condenser lines. Here is our power coming in, and then our power going out that goes um, all the way up and inside and into the RV. And so I just bought this plastic cap uh, I got it, this unit here on Amazon and it just protects it real nice. Um, it's pretty easy to install and then these caps just screw over top. And the one thing I did do is up at the very top, I just put some uh, Lexel, some weatherproofing caulk, clear caulk around it to keep the moisture and water out. So this is our mini split air conditioning uh, heat pump unit. 
uh, it's blowing cold air right now, uh, cooling our place down. We had the heat pump on earlier this morning when it was pretty cool. Uh, again, it's a two ton unit. This uh, fifth wheel is 37 feet long. It has absolutely no problem cooling and heating uh, this trailer. It is really quiet. Uh, you can turn the turbo fan on which if it's really warm in your house when you come home you can set the temperature hit the turbo and it will get it to that temperature whether cool it down or heat it up in the shortest amount of time possible and so when you hit that turbo it is a little louder but it's certainly not as loud as a lot of rooftop RV units so we've been really pleased that uh, this has not been too loud. You can easily watch TV uh, with the fan with this noise as it is right now. Uh, there's no problem. It's easy to have a conversation. You're not trying to talk over the fan, which is really nice. So we're here in Tucson. We don't move often. Uh, when we do, I will probably just put a strap over this thing to keep it secure as we're going down the road. But it has been a really great solution for us in replacing the broken basement air conditioning unit that we have here in this trailer. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. If it helped you in any way, please let me know in the comment section down below. Please hit that like button and subscribe too for more videos coming your way.